Our speaker number two is Alexander Jameson. As with everyday communication, a lasting first impression is vital in a speech. Today, Alexander Jameson is going to share some of his strategies to delivering an impactful introduction. It's time to get back to basics in our speech crafting. Alexander Jameson, lasting first impressions. Lasting first impressions, Alexander Jameson. Hopefully, this is not going to be any of you during my speech today. I know you've just had lunch. Fellow Toastmasters, have you ever listened to a speech that was so captivating in its initial moments that you are more interested in checking your phone? God forbid checking out a funny cat video on Facebook. As soon as we take that stage, the clock is ticking we have a short time window to make a good first impression. We have a duty as a speaker to pull in the audience and make them want more of you and your speech topic. However, sometimes in a speaker development, we get ahead of ourselves. We're excited. We want to do some of the more advanced speeches in the CC manual, working with visual aids, or we want to tell an inspiring story that hopefully will touch some hearts. We need to get back to basics. Not your ABCs, but your IBCs. Introduction, body, conclusion. Remember project two in your CC manual? It was quite a while for some of you, I'm sure. Today, is all about the power of a great, effective introduction. I will share some of my strategies on delivering a memorable introduction. Essentially, an effective introduction has two main things. It grabs the attention of the audience and it gets them curious in the subject matter and you. I think I got her attention She was curious about something. I wonder what. (laughs) Allow me to share some ways to get the attention and the curiosity of the audience that don't involve exposing oneself. (laughs) Imagery is a great way to start the speech and get the attention of the audience. Poor old Kermit. This was me a few nights ago preparing for my speech. (laughs) A funny image can break the ice, especially if if the topic is of a serious nature. Talking of serious nature, how about an image like this? This will definitely get the curiosity of the audience. An image that has shock value will really add to your presentation. But just make sure it's appropriate for the listeners. A beautiful image like this can be very effective at drawing in the audience. You can imagine an image like this being used for an inspirational speech. Are you smelling the flowers and taking in the beautiful views on your chosen life path? As well as imagery, a video can be very effective in drawing in and pulling in the audience. A video of shock value will definitely make a great way to start a powerful presentation. Just make sure the video isn't too long and make sure your equipment is obviously working well in advance of your speech. Humor is a great way to start any speech. Obviously make sure the jokes are clean Example, Scots are well known for their long pockets and their short arms. Today, I'm going to talk about and prove that this is all true. You see the twist there? On the flip side of humor, a startling statement 
is another great way to raise some eyebrows. Again, with imagery, we need to make sure it's appropriate for the audience. An example, on average, a Toastmaster will retain 5% of the speech that they've just heard. Who doesn't love a great quote to start off a speech, especially if it's taken from Braveheart? They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. Have you picked up on the Scottish theme yet today? (laughs) The use of a story, especially a personal one, is another great way to begin a speech. With drama, colorful imagery, language, vivid words, a story can really draw us in. Now, hopefully, the international speech contests in the room today are taking note. We've got the tension, we've got the curiosity of the audience. It's time to tease them. We don't want to give too much away regarding the speech topic. For example, don't say something like, today I'm going to share my three success tips, clarity, focus, and support. I think our test speaker gave away too much today at the evaluation. As speakers, we have lots of ways of opening and starting our speech. Humor, imagery, videos, startling statements, quotations, possibly some kilt lifting, Do what feels right for you. It's your speech. Practice makes perfect. As with the great game of golf, we need to hone in our skill of giving an introduction. It's like taking your stance before you take a swing at golf. Please take the time to develop something really special and ask for support if you really need some advice. Project two, again, in our CC manual talks about memorizing your introduction and your conclusion. Please take the time. Your introduction is important. Take the time to memorize in front of a mirror, in front of a family, a friend, and so on. My final piece of advice today is all about imagine yourself strutting the stage delivering that powerful introduction, feeling relaxed, confident, dressed sharp, and building on that introduction to deliver an amazing speech that will receive huge applause. Like a house, a great speech requires a good foundation. That good foundation is an introduction that gives a lasting first impression. Now you can check your phone and watch that funny cat video.